Okay, here's a look at some more miscellaneous transformer items in my collection. These are these mini model kits that came with those Japanese candies. Uh, so these are things that I actually got when I was a little kid. Here's some more. And I want to make this video just to have uh, something to refer to when looking back at my uh, collection because I don't plan to you know take these out and play with them but also some of them I plan to discard such as uh, cutthroat here because if you can see he's missing his uh, bird head so there's no point in keeping that and also uh, getting rid of um, sure shot because he's missing his uh, arm right there Thankfully, I have a sure shot here. All three Autobot target masters. So that's cool. And then uh, I have these other ones. These are from the uh, Victory series. So these are the uh, brain masters that form Road Kazer, which is really cool. Um, I have the original that I'm probably planning to make a video of. And here's the Star Saber, the G1, which uh, I don't have the original G1, but I have the masterpiece that I think I wanna make a video of also. So here's just a quick look at uh, these miscellaneous items. And so now just for the heck of it, I thought I'd uh, go over some of these so thankfully I don't have to transform all of them but starting off with uh, this Decepticon slug slinger just to show you how cool these are not only are they small and fun to put together when you're a little kid but you can see how they're nicely sculpted and detail which I think makes up for the lack of articulation. But this is really cool. I don't know if they made the other Decepticon Target Masters, but that would have been so nice to have. And then his uh, little mini Target Master. Really cool. So like I said, fortunately I don't have to transform it because I have uh, another one. So here he is in uh, robot mode. Some minimal articulation. But you can see, and I don't know if you appreciate it like I do, but just the sculpt and all the detail, it's really nice. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you've ever done any sculpting, but you can appreciate just uh, how well this is uh, sculpted. And then his uh, gun, which is simplified version. And uh, let's see, just for the heck of it, let's uh, move this aside and bring out the uh, original. Here is the original G1 slug slinger really cool i'm not going to transform this one i'm thinking i'm going to do separate videos for my old collection headmasters but uh, you can see this is really nice so that's what that was based off of and then uh, his target master so i got to share this but um you know these old figures they are uh, prone to breakage because the plastics do get hard. So this one in particular, I had to use uh, some dishwashing soap to loosen it up so it can rotate. And then I did take this off very carefully. 
because I don't want to break that little clip there. And then I had to shave off these some of the four corners where they had little extensions to help uh, lock these things in place. So I'm going to have to um, kind of fix up all these old figures before I do uh, reviews of these. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick look at the original there. And then now back down here to these other target masters. So here is um, point blank. So yeah, they, there's a new version of this in the legacy line, which I'm not going to get since I have all the original G1. Uh, but here's a look at them. Again, just showing off the uh, nice sculpt on this. And uh, I think, let me just try to transform this one really quick. His uh, spoiler becomes a shield that you take off. And then you can uh, slow his legs down, extend his arms, bring in his side hips. Uh, let's see. Bring his arm. If I can get it to turn here and then rotate his uh, hips. Bring his head down, and so now you have him in uh, <laughs> his robot mode. And uh, something just came off the little uh, clip here. But yeah, that's uh, one of the downside with these model kits being this small. Uh, these parts can come off here. Just have to. Put it back on. But yeah, it's really cool. And uh, it's Target Master also. Uh, you can just easily transform this. <laughs> What's this guy's name? Is uh, Peacemaker. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah. Um, and then here we have the uh, Sure Shot. So just take a quick look. I mean, that is supposed to come off because it's just on a peg. Just want to just look, just get a look and appreciate the nice uh, sculpt on these. Really nice, simplified version of the original toy. And then back there, you can see what he looks like in uh, robot mode. But I'm going to have to get rid of that because he's missing his arm. So it's one of the reasons why I'm making the video, just so I know. And then cross hairs. So here he is. They did make a, a updated version, but does not look... Uh, G1. So basically a repaint of uh, Siege Ironhide. But uh, here's again appreciating the nice sculpt. Man. When I say man because I'm thinking how cool it would have been if you could have all of the characters in this small form in this nicely sculpted detail. Uh, it would have been nice than his target master. So, like I said, I'll have to transform that one because there he is in uh, robot mode. So really cool. So now let's uh, kind of move these aside because I want to show original uh, G1 point blank with uh, Peacemaker. So they are making a, um, 
uh, a reissue, a remake under the Legacy line, which I am not going to get because I already have all of these uh, original G1. But uh, here's just a quick look at the character. And uh, I'm not going to do any transformation in this video because I want to do them individual separate ones after I clean him up a little bit. And then we have uh, Crosshairs. And they already did re make a, a remake this, remade this under the Siege line. Siege, I think, which was basically a, a repaint of the Siege Ironhide. So not quite accurate to the G1, but um, this is what the original G1 looks like with the um, Pinpointer. So that's another Autobot Target Master. And then there was Sure Shot. So this guy I always thought was really cool. Sure Shot with uh, Spoil Sport. So just another quick look around the original toy. I'll just do separate reviews of these after um, I clean them up and fix them a little bit so that they won't break. So that's a quick look at the uh, original uh, toys. So now, let's see, uh, continuing on with the rest of these um, little figures. So here are some other ones which I just want to go over just so I have a video collection of these. So here is a blue version of, um, what's his name? Wild Rider. And I have a gray one too. So just getting a good look. Again, appreciating how nicely sculpted these are. Even that Decepticon symbol. It's really nice. So I'll do a transformation of this. Kind of just like the original G1. Uh, let's see. Which I don't know if this is going to be able to extend which yeah looks like it's having a hard time pulling down but there I got it that's one of the dangers of these old toys is that plastic will harden and that's how you can break these toys but uh, let's take a closer look at the sculpt in robot mode doesn't have that head that extends down. It's a simplified version, but it's really nice nonetheless. I don't know if they made all of the Stunticons, but this is what I have, and this is what he looks like in uh, robot mode. And I, just for the heck of it, I brought out the original also. Just want to point out, I'm not sure if this is his gun or if this is Dead End's gun. But I just picked one of the two. So here is the original. So you can see. I mean, they, they did a nice job on the rims. That's interesting. Is it the same? It's very similar. Really cool. So just wanted to go over that one. And let's bring out uh, the brawl. This is really another cool mini uh, motto kit that you can build, extend this, um, his arms, just bring this down. Very simple transformation. <laughs> this, um, just, yeah, I don't have all the other Combaticons, so um, I don't know. Being a completist, I don't know how that feels, but point is uh, these are really cool for what they are and you can appreciate just how nicely sculpted everything is so I just want to go over it just to have something of my uh, memory for nostalgia and 
good measure. Here's the original. They didn't give you this um, this back piece, which is in the cartoon. I always thought these are cool. The combatant concept. They're individual weapons. They did make it so you can attach these also. So I thought that was really cool. So just a quick look at uh, the original. And then let's see, there is, um, what's his name? Ripper, Snapper, and uh, Cutthroat, who's missing his bird head. So I'm gonna have to get rid of this. But thank goodness for this video because I will have something to remember this by. It's just the whole point of this video. So again, just appreciating back in the days, these little candies came with these mini model sets. Really nice. And then there is a Sinner Twin. So I don't want to transform these because uh, I did bring out the original. So they already did remake these under the Power of the Primes. <laughs> but here's the original. It's really cool. Should I transform this? Is this safe to transform? Let's see, extend his arm back, bring this back. Have to extend his legs. Fold these back, lift up that tail, can just bring up his arms. <laughs> so here is cut G1 cutthroat robot mode. So yeah, these are it's really cool. And then let's see, there was a cutthroat also. So yeah, I'm missing that head, but uh, let's get a quick look around. <laughs> it's really cool. Bring his arms up, bring this head down, extend his legs, put the bird legs back, and you could take off his tail, which becomes a, his weapon. So here's, here's what the original looks like. So really cool. Okay, so let's uh, move on here. Say goodbye to Cutthroat because uh, he's missing the head. And then let's see, there's two versions of, well, not versions, but I have two of the uh, Steel jaw. Here he is in cassette mode. Here he is in uh, robot mode. And um, he does not have his uh, wings. But here's the G1. So, really cool. I'm not going to transform him. Just pointing out that he doesn't have these uh, wings that you attach onto his uh, hips so you can see that uh, they did not make it like that so very uh, unfortunate but still cool nonetheless I do remember they did make a blaster I don't know if this fit into that blaster but that's okay and then we have the uh, beachcomber this is cool. I was just thinking how cool would it have been if they made all of the mini bots. I'm sure they probably made other ones. I just don't remember um, uh, seeing them. But yeah, here he is in alt mode. So you compare it to the original G1. So this one, again, these things are just so cool to have. Um, but let's transform the G1, extend his arms out, really cool. <laughs> oh, what to do with all these little mini figures, but uh, that's that. And now, 
the last of my collection are from the Victory series. So I'll just quickly go over these last sets. Here's uh, the original G1 Star Saber, which I never had, but I have the masterpiece, which maybe I should make a video of. So yeah, I didn't get a good look at the space shuttle. This one, then you just have this head, which is kind of hard to put in here. And there you go. <laughs> kind of funny. But there he is. So the original G1 Vic, uh, Star Saber in the mini model set. From the toy uh, from the candy collection so again just uh, appreciating the uh, sculpt on these things this is really cool and then the last are these uh, breast force whatever so let's see I know this guy's name is called blacker the leader and then uh, what's this guy's name is uh, Braver this red sports car and then this yellow Lamborghini is not Sunstreaker but this is um, uh, Laster so just getting a quick look these are really cool these little miniature uh, candy model sets and yeah you they, they these do transform and they do combine to form a uh, road Kesar. so that's really cool uh, I kind of wanted to do that um, but I think this video is just becoming a little bit too long so I do want to point out uh, you do get all the needed accessories to do that so that's that and let's bring this up because I just thought maybe I'll do a comparison when I go over the original set so yeah I don't have enough space here but here's the original I should make a video review of this. This is really nice. Um, so let's, yeah, I'll go over all of this in a video of this, but the back of the box. But anyways, back to the main point. Uh, these are all these little mini figures. Getting rid of those now after I make this video. So, just another small thing in my uh, collection that I just want to uh, have reference of.